This Volvo is a D13 engine and is getting the code SPN652. Refers to the injector number two circuit. In this case, the injector number two is the one that is going to be the second from the front on the engine. And on these newer D13 engines, they have a very universal platform fuel system. What they have is a common rail and they have divided two different type of injectors. They have a electronic control fuel injector and a push rod control fuel injector. So there is three and three and six in total, but three injectors are different than others. In this case, we have the problem on the injector number two and the injector number two is an injector that is controlled by electronics and mechanical, in this case, the cam. And the problem refers to the electronic circuit. The electronic circuit is pretty much the wiring that comes all from the ECM. And this is going to be transmitted by different harnesses across the engine. The problem is then the circuit is not completed. There is a short circuit somewhere that is not allowing the engine to work exactly perfectly. This problem is very tricky because it can have many different solutions, but it's not going to have one type of troubleshooting that you can follow because it's going to depend on the type of issue that you have, the type of troubleshooting you're going to do, but still it's going to be a little harder to find the solution. So in this case, the solution for this D13 engine was replacing the injector number two. In this case, we replaced the injector number two on this engine and we replaced the engine wiring, the injector wiring inside the engine. So that is here. This is the injector wiring. And it's, it looks pretty simple, but the wiring in there gets damaged somehow, you know, same as any engine. The problem with diesel engine is that they get a lot of vibration and they start wearing over the time, causing many different type of issues. But what about you? What about you have? <laughs> I got stuck on my butt. Okay. okay. What up? What about if you have a D13 engine, then you replace the injector and you replace the injector harness and you still get in the same code 652. Well, you are going to continue with the engine wiring harness, the Samsung harness, which is the one that goes all over the engine. In this case, it goes from here to here and then goes all the way down all the way here and, and it goes up what you want to do on that is inspecting continuity from this to this this over here this plug is the injector plug right here and this is the one that comes over here so you want to check continuity from the ones the pins that are going to be related to the injector thing is getting the problem so you wanna follow the line all the way to here and see if the line has continuity or the line is cut somewhere. If the line is cut somewhere, well, there is no other way to fix the problem by rep uh, just replacing the harness or you can do a wiring, a separate wiring. So you can pull the line from here and get it all the way here. That will be the cheapest way to fix it. But the proper way will be to replace the harness. Now, that if you find that there is a short circuit on the harness, but what about if you don't find any short circuit in the harness, the, har if the wiring harness is fine, if you have continuity, if there is no uh, parasite signal going to the sense to the lines of the specific injector that is getting the problem, if everything is completely fine, that means then you have probably have a faulty computer. The faulty computer is going to be a very hard decision to do, a very hard, you know, um, solution because it is it's not going to give you 
an idea on how to check it. So the best way if you have a faulty computer will be to remove the computer and place a used one for another truck that is working with no problems. If you do that, if you remove the computer, place another computer and the problem goes away, there you have the solution. The computer was the issue. But before you do that, you have to go through different type of inspections. As I said before, you have to inspect the wiring harness in different points you have to inspect the injector harness in different points and you have to replace, uh, inspect the injector. In some cases, replacing the injector and the injector harness will be the solution and in, some case, in other cases, replacing just the engine harness, the sensor harness that is outside is going to be the solution. But that will depend on the type of problem, that's the reason we have to investigate where you are getting something, a signal that is not going to be uh, the right one, something that is not, for example, if you're getting, if you're getting uh, ground in all the sensor signals, in all the, uh, all the injector lines, that means that there is a short circuit somewhere. But if you're not getting any type of signal in the hardness of the, the plug of the injector, that means then there is a problem with the line too could be cut or them saying the computer could be the one that is not getting sending any signal but you know this is just a little guide on how to uh, inspect this problem i don't say that this would be the exact solution to your problem it could go farther than that but when you talk about circuits then are related to one system, in this case injectors, that you have a closed circuit. So that means then there is very limited things you can replace before finding the problems. So you wanna have the ECM, you wanna have the sensor harness, engine sensor harness, you wanna have the injector harness and the injectors. So all those four things are going to be related to the same problem. One of those are going to have the problems. The easiest and the cheapest ones are going to be the harness, the injector harness. The next one will be the injector. The other one will be the engine wiring. And the most expensive one or the hardest one to find will be the ACM. But that's how you're gonna find the problem. And you know, it will depend, as I say, this doesn't mean that you are going to get the problem that I say, the way I say it, but it's going to vary. So this is going to affect to other injectors too. For example, if you were in the code 651, 652, 653, 654, 655, and 656, they're related to the one, two, three, four, five injector, six injectors. So depending on the code you have, is going to be the injector that you have. So uh, with the problem, you have to inspect manually, it will be the best checking where the issue is but it will take a lot of time anyway uh, this is all the guy i have for you and as i said before this doesn't mean that this will be the solution to your problem it is just a little recommendation that i'm giving you so it is based on the truck that you have and the problems that could present the type of solution that you want to have but the possible causes i already given to you so if you have any questions go to instagram look for me francisco maya youtube ask me anything there gonna send support to the channel check the description of the video and uh, don't forget to like the video share it subscribe and thank you for watching